Summers in Action started around 1997, uh, I would say, when a group of farmers, young farmers, got together and decided it's time that they put an organization together that truly reflected themselves. Um, they were able to become incorporated about a year and a half later, and about three, four years later, they received their nonprofit status. St. Croix Farmers in Action is a 501c3 organization. Their mission is to positively influence um, the agricultural development in our islands. And I say that generally because there are specific components to that. They want to do it from the angle of our culture, which is firmly grounded in agriculture, from the angle of economic development, because farmers and value-added producers of farming products have a lot to contribute to our, our economy. They want to do it from the angle of education, because there's a lot to be learned in, in terms of health. Um, and the health benefits generally of all the various farming products. So there are several angles and they're using the Bethlehem Sugar Factory site as the springboard to advance all of these um, mode missions. The big event that's coming up is our Crucian Coconut Festival and this year we've added a special event, the Coconut Fine Art Exhibit. It will be held on December 3rd through the 5th. It opens with the Fine Art Exhibit on December 3rd, and we close, if you would, with the Coconut Festival. Um, it's a merger of what we see at Mango Mella, World Food Day, the Agricultural Fair, all the good things you see in all those events, we threw it into the Coconut Festival. Definitely coconuts, coconuts, and more coconuts. We're asking all of our vendors at the Coconut Festival to at least feature one thing that's coconut. So if it's a craft vendor, they may do something that's coconut. And of course, if it's a food or, or a sweet treat vendor, they may have something coconut there. Um, we're also, our entertainers that day, we're having the YGT band and um, our DJ music. We're also having Guardian of Culture Makajumbis as well as the Grow Place and Mumbi Juice Steppers. You mentioned the video that we displayed the last time we had the Coconut Festival. I do want to highlight that for a moment because that is one of the things that Farmers in Action is most proud of. That is a, a video that depicts the history of the Coconut Festival, I mean of the Bethlehem Sugar Factory site. Um, and so it goes all the way back to the late 1800s and comes all the way forward and it features a lot of our residents who lived and worked and toiled there at the sugar mill. But this Coconuts Festival, we will not be showing the video. We did that for about two or three festivals in a row. Um, this Coconut Festival, we will have um, games and activities for children and adults. We'll have a craft center and some adult games that um, involve some very nice cash prizes. We'll be having our famous coconut jelly scoop competition, but in light of COVID, we're not doing it the same way. We are having individual entries. So you come in and you sign up and you clock your time. And then at the end of the day, we'll clock who has the best time. Um, we are having our usual horseback riding, which the children really love. And in fact, some adults do jump on also. Um, and our art exhibit will also be open. Um, we're having some educational presentations. The University of the Virgin Islands Cooperative Extension Service is involved with us on that. We're having our aquaponic tours. Fresh Ministries LLC will be giving tours of their um, greenhouses there in Bethlehem. Um, and they're also having an educational exhibit as well as a university. Coconut Festival is our opportunity to showcase who we are. Um, I, among many others here, claim St. Croix and the Virgin Islands as their home. I happen to be a Crucian. Um, it's going to be a mixture of all the persons that we have in our community who are going to come together and celebrate exactly who we are as a community and as a people. Our vendors will come from all over, all backgrounds, and some will feature arts unique to their background. Um, it's a cultural event, if you would. Um, yes, we have music. It's a musical event. Yes, we have family fun and games. It's, a, it's a, um, a sport, a field day type event. We have educational stuff, but it's all about us. It's all about featuring who we are, and the coconut is central to that. 
We have coconut trees all over the Virgin Islands. In fact, we have coconut trees all over the Caribbean. And Farmers in Action decided to focus on the coconut because we often overlook it. And it's important to us, health-wise, culturally, even its economic value. It has great value. So the Coconut Festival is a celebration of all of that. And that's who we are. That's who we are. Diverse people embracing diverse opportunities. The EDA, um, headed by um, Ms. Machena, um, they have a project in place to bring a processing plant that they're going to construct in Frederickstead Town. Um, so yes, I, I believe that's still on the burner. COVID may have slowed it down some, but the last time I spoke with Ms. Machena, it's very much still a part of their plans. Um, Farmers in Action also have a plan to bring a processing plant, but at a smaller scale, as well as a certified culinary kitchen that gives small entrepreneurs who don't have the, the benefit of a certified kitchen in order to be able to market their products outside of the Virgin Islands, the opportunity to come there and use the facilities. So those are plans in the works. So yes, processing plants are very much in the works and we're even going further with the culinary kitchen. kitchen. Yes, it is community involved. The intent behind it is to support our small value added entrepreneurs. And it's not necessarily limited to any one product. Um, and so we're constructing a kitchen that's going to be diverse and be able to meet different needs. A baker, a pepper sauce maker, um, a craft maker. Um, so we're, of course, the craft maker is not in the kitchen, but um, we're also working on facilities for that. So we, we are very much in our plans and we have someone working with us and we've been talking to the EDA about it. I have a love and a passion for my Virgin Islands. I have a love and a passion for my St. Croix, and I have a love and passion for my Frederickstead. You notice I said mine. So that anything that, that helps to advance the culture and the people, I wanna be there. And so I say to anyone else, if you truly love these islands and you wanna invest and make these islands a better place, then do not let any negative energy stop you. If you have a dream and you have a vision, pursue it. If you see something positive for your people and your island, perceives, pursue it. Don't let anything stop you.